All right, so in my date video where I get my date pierced, I said that I would give you like a full in-depth update. In depth, in depth, in depth, in depth update. Oh my god, I am struggling right now. Um, <clears throat> I said I will update you on everything you need to know about the date pierce. Uh. <gasps> All right, so this is my Dave piercing. If you didn't know what it was, I'll put a cute picture of it. Not my ear though, but um someone's ear. I got this piercing about like 5 years ago maybe or I don't know, but it was like a few days after seeing this picture of Kylie Jenner and I know how that sounds like monkey see monkey do but You know if the shoe fits honestly that was such a cute picture and I had never seen that piercing before and I was like Oh my god, I have to get it. So I did and it Hurt it was a 10 out of 10 and I have my nipples pierced and I got them pierced three different times and each one of those times did not compare to the first time getting my Dave pierced. That was so painful and it bled a lot. Anyways, I kept that piercing for four years, I believe, or three years, five years. And to be honest, it was my most hectic piercing it kept acting up it was just not behaving anytime like i put a headphone in or i accidentally bumped my ear or anything it would just start acting up again it would bleed it was just straight up not having a good time in my ear and i refused to take it out because it was so mother cute it was so cute you couldn't pay me enough to take that piercing out but i'm not gonna lie it just wouldn't heal it would like go from healing to acting like a spoiled brat it was so weird however almost a year ago when quarantine hit i decided to change all of my jewelry which by the way all of this jewelry is from amazon so if you think any of them are cute i will link them all in my amazon shop under jewelry and i constantly update my amazon shop with like more jewelry that i buy from amazon and you could shower with these they haven't turned my ear green so but you're good because I don't like taking my jewelry off when I shower because if I do then this happens Do you see that? I literally pierced my third hole Made a video on it and look at that I don't even have a piercing in there because it fell out and I just forget to put my earrings in Okay, sorry that was a side quest Back to my point, last February I decided to change all my jewelry from silver to gold and I bought this really cute gold date piercing from Amazon and I wanted to switch it and I couldn't. Like I took the silver jewelry out and I, for the life of me, I could not put the gold jewelry in. I just couldn't. I couldn't see the hole. I had my mom help me. She couldn't do it. It was bleeding. It was painful. I was so sad. And I couldn't even like get in my car and go to a piercing shop and have them do it for me because everything was closed. Oh wait, so then this was in March, not in February. Anyways, from March all the way to a few months ago when I pierced my date, I did not have any jewelry in my date. Now, if you did see the video of me piercing my date, you saw that it was painless, literally, a uh, zero out of ten. I did not feel it, which was weird. And I know the piercers told me that he put it in the same hole, but I don't think so because I could literally see the hole, which is something I couldn't see the first time I got my date pierced. Like I could see the entire jewelry, like where to put it in and where to take it out, which wasn't like that before. So here's my theory. I feel like the reason the first time around my date gave me so much issues is because it was really deep inside my ear and maybe that's what caused it not to heal and i also remember commenting a few years back on a piercer that has a youtube channel i don't remember his name but if i could find the comment i'll put it here and he replied to me and told me that like yeah sometimes it just doesn't heal so do i recommend you taking that risk F 
yeah no just kidding um i don't know i can't make that decision for you but i am super super happy that i did it again as for the healing the second time around i feel like it's completely healed and it's been i believe two months I'm not sure but it hasn't given me any issues it hasn't like gotten any of those bumps and it hasn't given me any problems which is why i feel like i said maybe it's the placement like maybe it shouldn't be so deep in your ear in short is the day painful yes and no <laughs> maybe is it worth it maybe healing time four years two months I notice now that this isn't really that helpful because I'm being so like vague so I'm sorry about that but anyways while I'm here if anybody has any cute piercing suggestions for my ears specifically let me show you my ears let me know because I want more anyways I hope this was helpful if not I am sorry please forgive me and let me make it up to you by making another video that you could request in the comments but um yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video